everybody. Welcome to Board Together Games. I'm Kathy. I'm Jake. I'm Ryan. And I'm David. And our channel, if you're new here, is designed to give you quality board game content that is geared towards families with kids and new gamers in particular. So today we're going to be talking about, well, we got a top five list. Yeah! Well, we've got four top five lists. Yes, we do. And what we're going to be discussing today are dice games. So my list in particular has games that are mainly dice. The main mechanisms are going to be dice driven. That's that's kind of how I formulated my list. How I about did you? That also. You did that also, Jake. I sort of had the same idea, but I just chose five and put it on my this paper. Good job, Jake. <laughs> Kathy, what about you? That's ended up with what I ended up doing. Yes. Yes. So it sounds like we're going to be basically giving you games that are heavily dice driven, which is really kind of what this is about, I think. And also another caveat to my list is, you know, it has something to do with this channel. Again, the channel is about families and it's about new gamers, people who don't necessarily know a lot about this hobby. So my games are going to be on the lighter side for the most part. How about you guys? Mine's like 45 minutes or less. Yeah, I don't know about mine. Okay, they're all they're all pretty light. Yeah. Okay. Mine are relatively light as well. Relatively light. Yeah. I have a couple that are going to be uh, maybe next. Maybe we we'll call them a next step type of game. Mm -hmm. If you've played a lot of the yeah. more gateway driven or what they call family style mm -hmm. games, then these would be maybe good options for you as well. So, without further ado, you guys, let's get started. All right. So who wants to go first? Um, let's start off with Jacob. <laughs> Okay, Jake, what's cool. your number what you five? There, Jake? My number five is Bang the Dice Game, which is a three to eight player game. It's 15 minutes and it's ages eight and up. And everybody has a secret role. And what you're trying to do is it'll tell you in the rules who you're gunning for or going for or trying to kill, sort of. Nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's all what I'm trying because to do. Because Jake likes, you know, in general, <laughs> attacking, attacking people. people. <laughs> And each player has their own special ability, which dictates how you're going to play the game. Yeah. So this is, again, it's a dice game. And on a player's turn, they have, was it five dice? Five dice. Yeah. That you roll Yahtzee style. So you roll the dice, you see what you get, and then you can re-roll up to two times any of those dice that you've rolled, unless there's one face that you have to keep. It's the dynamite one. And basically, you're rolling dice, looking for ways to attack other players around the table by shooting them. Each player has a certain number of hit points. And there's a sheriff, and there's deputies, and there's outlaws and renegades, and each one of the win conditions for those characters is different. And that's basically it. It's just a very neat, interactive, short, fun game that we play a lot. It's super cool. And that was? Bang the Dice Game. My number five is a game called Sports Dice Baseball. Oh, yeah. Good it's game. for two, play, two and up for players, um, 10 to 20 minutes, ages 7 and up, by Fun Whiz Games. And it's baseball in a box, pretty much. Yeah. Super light. Mm-hmm. Kind of the best at two players, I think. Yeah. But you can play more. Uh, we actually did a full review of this game. I'll put a link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen there for you. But we, we, yeah, we enjoyed this game a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically just rolling dice. Each player rolls dice simultaneously, and whoever has the largest set of a single result takes that action, or that is the play for mm -hmm. that roll. Right. So each roll is a play, a baseball play. Right. A strike, a ball, a single, a double, an out, a triple play, all these different options. Mm -hmm. Super neat, super right. fun. We do play it a lot. It's a great filler game, and that is... Sports Dice Baseball. So my number five falls in the cooperative game category, and that's a game called Elder Sign. And if you're familiar with this channel, you know that typically I am not a Cthulhu mythos hp lovecraft you know i'm i'm done with that whole theme however elder sign is just a really great uh simple relatively simple cooperative dice rolling game where it's not really yahtzee style rolling but you roll dice and every, every roll of the dice on any player's turn you have to be able to successfully accomplish one of the tasks on the location where you are currently visiting right in the game and you have to you know accomplish a certain number of these location cards or beat these location cards. There's different scenarios and different elder gods they're, that you play against. They're adding, um, they're, you have to get a certain amount of um, shed or figure out what they're Oh yeah, you have, to, you have to collect the elder signs, yes. a certain number of elder signs before the elder god 
is released is released into yeah, yeah and it's Humanity. it's a very challenging game mm -hmm. uh, it's very fun it plays a big group of people mm -hmm. you might want to stay away from the larger player counts because it can get kind of long it can get long yeah but it is it is really fun I like it a lot that's Elder Sign my number five okay my number five is Tiny Epic Galaxies. Oh, yeah. Love that game. It is uh, one to four players, 30 to 60 minutes, 14 plus an age. And in this game, you are rolling dice, which are um, specific types of dice. It's not a typical uh, six-sided dice. It's got symbols on it. And you roll the symbols to determine which actions you're going to be able to take that turn. Um, and is it Yahtzee style? I forget. Is it Do, do, you, do uh, you get enough to three turns no, to roll? No, you spend energy to reroll. That's right. You spend energy to Yeah, you to spend resources yep. to reroll. Right. Otherwise, you're kind of stuck with what you have. And right. That's you can right. take your actions off the dice in any order kind of thing. Exactly. Very cool. Yeah, so it's a great little game. It's um, a, from the Tiny Epic series. I uh, definitely love this game. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Great components. A lot of game in a little box. Very much so. And that's Tiny Epic Galaxies. All right, let's start with Ryan this time. Ryan, what's your number four? My number four is a game called Blueprints. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's a game for two to four players, 30 minutes, ages 14 and up, by Z-Man Games. Mm -hmm. And this game is awesome because you can use stacking dice on other dice and building construction. Yeah. It's construction mm -hmm. building. You're building blueprints. You're building structures out of dice following these blueprint cards that you get mm -hmm. every round. You play in a number of rounds, right? Mm -hmm. And then how you place those dice dictates how you score points at the end of every round. Mm -hmm. right. And you're trying to get the most points every round. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game is a winner. There's uh, not special abilities, but there's trophy cards that you can get mm -hmm. if you meet certain criteria with your structure during any given round, where you, you're drawing dice out of a bag and you have a certain pool of dice that you can choose from when it's your turn. And that's my number four, Blueprint. My number four is King of Tokyo, which is two to six players, it's 30 minutes, and it's ages eight and up. And what you're doing is rolling dice, and the dice lets you do multiple different things, like heal yourself from other people attacking you, or attacking other people, or buying cards with energy. And that's why I like the game, is because those mechanics, those general mechanics in the game, are things that I like to enjoy in different board games that I play. Yeah, yeah. This is a, you're basically, each player is a kaiju monster, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you're uh, vying for control of Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And you can either win by getting 20 victory points before anybody else or be the last monster standing that hasn't been knocked out by health going down to zero. And that's my number four, King of Tokyo. So my number four is a little game, and I mean little game, called Deep Sea Adventure. And Deep Sea Adventure is is really cool. It plays up to six people, and basically you are all deep sea divers who are diving off of a submarine down into the deep ocean to collect treasure and get back to the submarine before you run out of air. And everybody's working off the same oxygen tank, which is interesting. And the more treasure that you have, the more oxygen you use. So if you end up not making it back to the submarine, before the air runs out, you lose all your treasure for that round. You play three rounds. Uh, the treasure is all basically worth victory points. And that's the whole game, really. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a great press your luck game uh, that we play quite often, actually. It's a great filler, as most of these are, these dice games. Like that one a lot. It's my number four, Deep Sea Adventure. My number four is Star Trek Five Year Mission. It is a great game for up to eight players, including the promo, oh, where yeah. you can play either the uh, original Star Trek or the Next Generation. And you are working as a cooperative game uh, to successfully achieve missions and gain a certain amount of points. And you are rolling dice to uh, complete, objectives, complete, complete yeah. objectives on the cards. Yeah. To and get they the give you points and abilities. Points and, and abilities, yes. Yeah. Great little game. So that's, that's my number four, Star Trek Five-Year Mission. Yeah, shut up, Wesley. All right, moving on to our numbers of three. I think that's correct grammar, isn't it? I think it? you're right. Numbers no. of three? No. no. I believe so. No. 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 Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, Wesley. Wesley. <laughs> All right. My number three is Bang the Dice Game, which has been mentioned before by Jacob. So I won't say a whole lot about it other than to say that I kind of figured we were going to have some crossover on these lists, and this is the first one of probably multiples. Bang the dice game again. You roll dice, Yahtzee style, to attack your opponents, be the last man standing, or, well, maybe the last man standing, or just keep the sheriff alive, or kill the sheriff, depending on what your role is. It's a fun game. We love it a lot. That's my number three. 
Bang the Dice Game. My number three is a game called Kingsburg. In this game, you are rolling dice, and you can combine them to make another number. So you're trying to com- maybe combine dice to place on spots that give you abilities or do Resources. Some, uh, yeah. They give you resources. Yeah. yeah. It's a resource management game, uh, kind of Euro style, a uh, strategy game style, using dice as your workers. Dice mm-hmm. dice worker placement, I guess you could cool. call it. Yeah. Right? And that's my number three, Kingsburg. All together, no. And that's my number three. Kingsburg! <laughs> Kingsburg of Tokyo. <laughs> Kingsburg. Burger King! Burger King! <laughs> Burger Time. Burger Chef. Burger, Burger <laughs> Chef. That turned into Hardy's. Good Nasty. Burger. If you know what Burger Chef is, leave a comment. Yeah. That's right. Burger Chef. Because I don't know what it is. So I, I don't know, know what either. It, I, I want to know what it is. My number three is Dice Town, which is a 2 to 5 player game. It plays 45 minutes and it's ages 10 and up. And this is sort of like a poker game where you're where you are locking dice and re-rolling them to get a certain uh, hand of not really hand but sort of a collection of dice that you are either interested in or try to be interested in, and you earn things from this big board that is in the game. That you do different actions depending on yeah. if you're if you have the most of any given die face. And you keep playing the game until you get to an end game condition, and then you just start scoring your points, and whoever has the most wins. And that's my number three, Dice Town. My number three is a game called Las Vegas. This is a two to five player game where you are rolling dice and placing them on six different casinos, as they were, six different locations, and your goal is to win the money that is next to that location. There's uh, certain cards that, that are laid out each round that is uh, representing certain amounts of money. And your goal is to try to have the majority on that particular location to win that money in that particular round. Uh, the only way, you do have to be careful to not tie someone or else you lose. Um, oh, yeah. and, and the second place person wins instead. Uh, but it's, it's a really fun game. Uh, a lot of interesting things can happen towards the end when you're running low on dice. You could end up rolling something that you didn't want, and you have to take it because it's your last die. So it's a lot of fun to play. Yeah, you have to, you have to play something every round. Interesting dice play, placement mechanisms in this game. Not difficult. No. At all. Very simple, very light. But yeah, and actually I think this one is uh, not available at the moment. Uh, unless you want to pay through the nose for it. But mm-hmm. it is getting released, it's getting re-released as a Target exclusive called oh. Vegas the Dice Game. Really? It's going to be the new name for it. Yeah. I and I've, in that. fact, I think it's out already. Mm-hmm. So only available at Target, can't get it anywhere else, is my understanding, at least for now. And that's my number three, Las Vegas. All right, let's just roll back the other way now for our number two. Go ahead, Kevin. Numbers good. two. Numbers two. <laughs> My number two is Sports Dice Baseball, Yay. which I believe Ryan mentioned earlier. Yep. Yes. So we've already kind of talked about it, but it just it really deserves a second mention. It's a great little game, super easy to get out. It, you can teach it in 10 minutes. Really easy. Actually, probably Shoot. less than 10 minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> yeah. To anyone. And it's really a lot of fun to play. So if you, yeah, if you understand baseball, you know, if you know how baseball is played, it's an easy one to pick up. Super easy. easy to pick up. If you don't like baseball, though, Mm, that's kind of the caveat on that one. If you don't like baseball, you're probably not going to like it. And that's my number two, Sports Dice Baseball. My number two is Dice Forge, which is a two to four player game. It plays for 40 minutes and it's for ages 10 and up. And what you're doing is just rolling dice. And those dice dice let you get things on your play player board. Like there's gold, there's moon shards, there's sun shards, and there's victory points. And whenever you roll, you add up on your player board and what I like is that every single person's turn before their turn you get to roll again and get what your corresponding faces on your dice say Mm -hmm. and on your turn you can get more faces of die faces and put new ones on where old ones were yeah Yeah. make your dice better yeah and the second one is you can buy uh cards that give you special abilities or other resources and points and points yeah Mm -hmm. And that leads you to being the winner of the game, which is having the most victory points. Yeah. This one's great. We've also done a full review of this one. Uh, so, again, link in the upper right-hand corner if you want to check that out. This is a neat game. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the theme. No. But I like the game. Mm-hmm. But not the theme. The game. Not the theme. That's the game. Number- not yeah. the theme. No. But the game. <laughs> yeah. Game is good. Game is good. That's theme, the- not so much. That's my number two, Dice Forge. My number two, 
you guys might be surprised about. Probably not. It's probably a <laughs> <laughs> My number two is a game called Dice Stars. It is a genre of game called Roll and Write. You are rolling dice, then you choose numbers or symbols to write down on your piece of paper. And whoever has the most pieces of paper or stuff written down on the pieces of paper is the winner. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, that's a cool, quick little game. Um, how many players is that one? One to four. One to four. Oh, you solo mode. And that's my number two, Dice Stars. All right, my number two is Tiny Epic Galaxies. Nice. Mentioned earlier by Kathy. Great little game. Um, I won't say a whole lot more about it other than the fact that probably my favorite mechanism in it is the fact that you can follow other players. Mm, so yeah. we talked about the energy resource before and having that be the way that you can reroll your dice. Right. Uh, but the other resource in the game is culture. And you can spend culture when it is not your turn to follow an action that another player has taken. And to me, that's probably the, the biggest... Um, piece of that game, mechanism in that game that really just sends it over the top for me and puts it so high on my list. This is probably one that is one of the next step games. But, but I do believe this game could actually be played well. I mean, Ryan has been playing it since he was, um, you know, practically eight. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is accessible. It is approachable for younger kids, I think, as well. Um, but there's some really interesting strategies that are involved in this game as well. So it's great for the, the people who like that kind of thing mm -hmm. also. So it's very versatile, I think. It's a lot of fun. That's my number two, Tiny Epic Galaxies. All right, so being as this is a dice-themed countdown, mm -hmm. we're going to roll the fluffy Bunko die <laughs> <laughs> to see who gets to go first for their top pick. Go this ahead, Kathy. fun. I got a three. Also a three. I want to get a bunko. Also three. a three. Wow. This is working out it's a really loaded well. Die. Bunko. You get to go last. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said bunko got to go first. Bunko gets to go first, and I get to pick. All right, I'm gonna go okay. first, and we'll just go down the line. Okay. okay. All right. So my number one is La Granja No Siesta, which is. Pigs and donkeys. It's pigs and donkeys. <laughs> it's actually a spin-off game of a much larger, much heavier game uh, called La Granja. And this game was based around a particular mechanism from that original game, the dice portion of it. And it's another roll and write game. And I love the roll and write genre. I have a lot of fun with those games. They're very approachable, very easy for new gamers and families to get into. Mm -hmm. And in this one, you're rolling for resources and you're drafting dice. So the active player will roll a bunch of dice and then every player gets to pick one of those as their resource and then you roll again and then you pick another resource and then you roll a third time and everybody gets whatever was rolled the third time. You mark these off on your sheet. The way you mark them off gives you a certain amount of victory points. Some of the spaces on the on the little sheet that you write on have to be filled out in a certain order. Um, just a lot of different really cool strategies that you can take that are all very, um, legitimate strategies and every game we've ever played ends up in a very close score it's a lot of fun it's very relaxing super simple fun game that's my number one la granja no siesta my number one is a game called dice forge oh wow look at there yeah i won't mention a lot about it because it was on jacob's list and i love this game it's awesome I finally get to switch out die faces if I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. That is definitely the biggest, uh, I don't want to say gimmick, but it kind of is a gimmick <laughs> yeah. about that game. But it's a lot of fun. And that's my number one, Dice Forge. My number one is also La Granja No Siesta. So I'm not going to say anything. Just go back in the video like two minutes so <laughs> you can listen to his. And it's my number one, La Granja No Siesta. Well, that was quick. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. My number one is a game called Sagrada. It's a two to four player game where you are doing dice drafting and you are trying to basically create a puzzle on your window. Frame? Your, window frame? No, it's a, it's a, window you're, pane. you're creating stained glass windows. So it's, you're, you're making a stained glass window with different colored dice and you have certain rules that you have to follow in regards to the numbers that are on the dice and the colors that are on the dice to make sure you're matching all the rules correctly and uh, trying to complete your full puzzle. 
It's a really great game. I love dice and I love drafting dice and I love all the different colors. It's a beautiful game. And you love puzzles. Yeah, yeah. so it really kind of hits all cylinders for me. So yeah. it's a great game. Yeah, I like that game too. Mm -hmm. uh, very frustrating game for me. <laughs> Not for me, but I think it's it's just something that really works for me. I can in my head it works. Yeah. So yeah. that's why it's it just it's not that it's easy for me. It's just that I just enjoy doing what that puzzle creates. Yeah. So full review on that one as well. Click the link in the upper right hand corner. That's right. So that's my number one, Sagrada. Well, there you go, you guys. There are four excellent top five lists of some really good dice games that you can go and check out for yourselves. If you heard of anything that you liked here, we encourage you to go look for other content out there. Each one of these games is going to have a plethora of information out there that you can look up to get more information, better information. We just gave you the high level overviews here of some just excellent games that we really think are all very good options for new gamers and families to go and check out and start playing yourself. And I will leave links in the description for a lot of these games where you can just click over and pick them up for yourself and check them out. I'll also leave links in the description for all of the places that you can contact us as always, which is Twitter and Facebook and our website. So please check us out there as well. We have some other content and things that you can check out. We would love for you to contact us and just let us know how we're doing, mm -hmm. whether that be in the comments section or anything like that. Just like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you like what we're doing here, we would really appreciate it. And we'd also really appreciate it if you would go and check out our friends over at Gamer Threads. I'll leave that link in the description as well. They create some excellent t-shirts. They made our Board Together Games t-shirts and a lot of really great board game related shirts that we really think you're gonna like. So please head over and check that out. That is one excellent way where you can help support us here at Board Together Games so we can keep doing this and keep bringing you this content, which we really enjoy doing. Hopefully you like it as much as we like making it. So once again, and as always, you guys, if you're a board together, board, board together. together. Thanks again for watching. and We will see you next time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sidebar. <laughs> Hey, Sushi bar. Oh. Candy bar. How did we get on this subject? <laughs> bar, you're <laughs> Bar, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That was me. I can't take you anywhere. I know. <laughs> All right, next, next one. My number two. I'm never surprised about your number two. <laughs> Who does number two work for?